uh, when, when uh, the president appointed the uh, principal uh, uh, secretaries, we went to court and we challenged uh, that decision. Now that is a case for us is really a question of numbers because the constitution says not more than one third should be of the same gender. This is an appointive. It's, it's different when it is elective because people elect and, and you might not have a, a formula to ensure that the one third is met because it's election. But on appoint, on appointive, you know this is what the constitution requires. We go to court and the court says, stop this process, which is okay, so that we hear this, uh, this petition. And then eventually, what does the court come and say? That this matter is not yet ripe. So they, and, and, and you know, in constitutional litigation, when there is a threat, you stop it from happening. But you don't say it is not ripe because the threat has not occurred. So how does that make you feel as the LSK? Do you feel, what's the word, helpless? We are, we, we, we are not entirely... Toothless? We are not entirely helpless. We are not entirely th toothless. Because uh, you see, what the law society stands for is principle. And the principle doesn't change. It, it doesn't change. It is a bit frustrating because you expect that the courts would be at the forefront of saying that these are well enshrined constitutional principles and we should err on the side of protecting the constitution, that their primary responsibility is protecting the constitution. And let's look at it this way. Uh, the president is probably three or four months uh, uh, old in, in, in office. I mean, the ink upon which he used to sign the constitutional oath that he took has not yet dried. But what has been his actions? Even before the ink has dried, he has taken not one, not two, but three or four clearly unconstitutional decisions, unconstitutional appointments, or appointments that violate uh, the question of ethics and integrity. And, and, and so, if you are then to uh, juxtapose that and say if it's three months, then in f two years, three years, what are we looking at?